In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a dropshipping store on Shopify. Now, I'm not gonna waste any of your time. Let's get right into it. Now, the first thing you guys wanna do is you wanna head over to the Shopify website. Now, on the Shopify website, you will get a $1 free trial for the next three months. So that means every month you'll be paying $1, which is basically free. Okay, now I did put that link in the description so you don't have to take a while to look for it on the internet. Now, the first thing you're going to do after you sign in and put in all your relevant details is you are actually going to be provided with the welcome page on Shopify. Well, ideally, you can skip all the steps that they want you to use to set up and just get to the home and main menu. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go click online store. And then we're going to go to themes. Now, guys, you don't have to worry about having a paid theme. Okay. You can use a free theme and it will work just well. I know a lot of dropshipping stores that make a lot of sales without actually using a paid theme. So you can choose any of the free themes. What matters is how well you customize your theme and how user friendly it is. I'm going to use the sense theme. Okay. It just makes sense, <laughs> I guess. So as you'll see, you'll just click add and then it will install the theme. Just give it a second. Now guys, when we open up our online store, we realize that it's basically plain. It looks so boring. It actually has, it has nothing to begin with. So the first thing we're going to have here is an announcement bar. We want to edit the text that's on the announcement bar. We don't want a welcome to our store. We want something that will make customers make impulsive decisions that will make them buy. So we're going to have something like 50% off, wait, the caps is on, off your first order. Alternatively, you could write free delivery nationwide or uh, buy one, get one free, you know, something that will get customers willing to buy. Oh, and we want to change the color of this announcement, but we wanted something like red. So it actually stands out and, you know, calls some attention. Now, the next thing we want is to change our logo. As you can see, our store logo here is just my store. So to get a logo, we'll just use um, Canva. Now, this is very important when you are selecting a logo and a name for your store. You want a name that does not push you into a specific niche. So you don't want your name to be something like elite sneakers because that means you will have to keep selling sneakers and you can't test different products. So you want a name that will cover a broad range of products that will allow you to test different types of products on your store because most often or most of the times you, the first product you test or the first product you try is not a winning product. So you want the flexibility to change your product and different niches. So we're going to select a store name that is broad, that will allow us to cover a lot of different products. The way we're going to find out a store name is we're just going to go to ChatGPT, okay? And then we're going to search, we're going to ask ChatGPT for some name suggestions. And looking at the name suggestions that ChatGPT just generated here, I think Global Cart is a good one. Or yeah, I think global card sounds good. So now to get the logo, we're going to go all the way to Canva. And I'm just going to fast forward through this whole process, but I basically wrote global card here and everything on Canva. And we're also going to get the black version of the logo. Now, when you do export these images on Canva, you will realize that they export as a image that has a background. What you want ideally is to export them as an image that has no background and you can use Photoshop for that, but most people don't have Photoshop and don't know how to use it. So you can just go on Google and search. Let me just save these and just search background remover. As you can see, guys, our background was successfully removed. It will be a transparent PNG. So basically the background won't be white, but transparent. So we're going to edit our logo in theme settings. Then we're going to select the image that we recently got from the background remover. And I'll upload it onto Shopify. Logo cut. Now you see we do have our logo. Like our logo does look pretty small. So a way you could change that is actually going back to Canva and then just resizing this whole thing. But I'm not going to do that now because it's going to take a lot of time. But you get the whole idea of how you put your own logo there. It just needs to be bigger. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I don't like the colors of this theme, the main colors of the theme. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, um, theme settings, just close that. And then we're going to go to colors. Now, 
you can add your own custom color scheme so we're gonna go with black i think um, this is for a button color so the button color i think will make white and then the text will also make white and then the background will make black shadow will make navy blue i like navy blue it's my favorite color uh, background gradient so we want our gradient to be navy blue uh, so let's see this color scheme so here we'll just change the color scheme to color scheme 6 the one we just created yeah i don't know if we should make it a gradient or a solid color i think we should make this the container a solid color so i'll change that now Basically, what we need here is a good image of our product because this, this part is very important because this is the first thing customers will see if we use it as a landing page. So it's kind of a, a win or lose situation. This is going to make them decide whether they want to stay on the website or not and if they want to make further actions like purchasing. So I'm going to select an image of the product we need. So currently we don't have a product as you can see so we need a product so we can add images and actually structure our store around that product. Now the best way to find a product personally I prefer to use Menia. So I'm going to go on to Menia and we're going to do some product research. Okay now we are currently on Menia and guys Menia can help you find products in a variety of ways. You can either look at ads and find winning ads that have been making products sell well or you can just go to the product section. So basically if you were to do the ad section we could go and actually filter according to our preferences and what we want is we want to go on dates and say last seen so we want products that have been showcased in the last 14 days for example and we can set some more filters such as only english ads and we want ads with a high engagement and most importantly we want videos the media type should be videos because they're more engaging and that's what dropship is used and then we can just go and look at the ads that have been getting a lot of engagement and the types of likes they've been getting but personally i'd rather use the products page so we're gonna go click product and then as usual we're gonna set a couple of filters okay so these are the filters i used i said facebook that has a high engagement score english and actively running so we're gonna scroll through this section and see if we can actually find a winning product okay i think i found a product so we can actually see the online store of a competitor like wise.com um, that is selling this product so obviously we can copy it and make it better we don't have to reinvent the wheel take what's winning and just slightly change it okay now that we've got all of that um, I'm, I'm gonna generate this for my shopify store okay let me not be lazy let me not be lazy and just actually create it on my own we actually need a cool name for it so i'm gonna ask chat gpt quick um orbit god i like that one okay so we did add the image now and as you can see it says browse our latest products so i don't like the browse our latest products we can maybe say something like yeah shop the new orbit god 360 you get the whole idea uh, now the next part is you want your featured products section now we are only selling one product ideally now we want to stick to one okay and what we'll put here is of course the orbit cam 360 since there is no hot link to the product so you say change collection create a collection and this will take you to the products page so as you can see we don't want collection but we just want a product as you can see we have no products so in order to add a product we'll create a new product So we are going to sell our Orbit God for a final price of $6.99, okay? I'm just estimating, okay? So since a 60% off this price is, means the price was $1.399 before that. So you see, customers actually did get their 50% off. That's how you created this count on, Shop on Shopify. We'd also like to say we have quantity in stock and we'll just save it now we officially have a product in our store so we have shopped the new orbit card and then here is the orbit card number of columns negative two even though the other one is empty 
so this shrinks a bit yeah that looks better so there we have our product guys we're gonna go to the um under template we're gonna say add a section and we want to add a multi column is we're gonna use it for yep reviews the reviews or we can write testimonials depends what you wanna how you wanna word it and then right here you can, as you can see you can change the text so you can say the first reviewer was subscribe <laughs> I don't like doing reviews in this manner. I'd rather use an external app to get reviews for me. So I prefer not to. Now, obviously guys, since we do have a product and our store looks like this currently, it's almost done. We still have some things to do, but it's almost done. We also need to make sure that if we wanna make sales, eventually you'll have to promote this product. And in order to get a lot of sales, you'll need your products to go viral you'll need your ads to go viral and the best way to do that is to use viral ecom ads and i've always said if you want to use viral ecom ads you can just use the link in the description now how does viral ecom ads work let me show you all right guys initially you want to head over to the viral ecom ads website and we'll decide the split testing ad package because that works best for facebook and personally i like to add a voiceover i feel like it's good for engagement and once you do place your order you'll get a submission form and receive your video within one to three days and you'll get unlimited revisions for the first seven days and if you want to see what an ad looks like we can go view these oversized hoodies these were making huge sales in the past i don't know why people love them so much but they were making a ton of sales and guys in the description there is a link that has a discount on all the packages on viral ecom ads and there's an additional 75 percent off if you sign up for the vip membership so the link is in the description you know what to do all right now in order to add your t's and c's contact us and faq we're gonna go all the way to the home page again and then we're gonna go to online store navigation and then in navigation and then you're gonna go to footer menu and then this is how we're gonna link all those pages we created so we're gonna say pages then we're gonna link the frequently asked questions first then we're gonna add another menu and we're gonna click pages the terms and conditions add and then we're gonna go click pages and we're gonna add the contact us add then say save menu so that's all gonna appear in the footer Um, here it is quick links so as you can see we have our faqs our t's and c's and our contact us so this is how our online store currently looks now guys it's very important that you add a domain and when you when it comes to creating a domain on shopify i'll run you through the whole idea of how to create a domain and how to add a domain and you know a domain is basically the whole address of your online store so it's basically the www subscribe to my youtube channel.com it's very important that your domain is appropriate because nobody is gonna shop on the random domain that shopify gives you that is for free that is called www.myshopify1473.shopify and so on it looks very unprofessional so you want a professional domain now before i actually get to that let me tell you about volume boost since we already almost done with creating our online so before i tell you about the importance of a domain now volume boost is an additional app that you can add to your shopify store now what does volume boost do volume boost allows you to create custom discounts for your customer for for example you can actually select a group of products or a single product that you want to run a discount on or you can go on running a discount for like a cart total for example so you can set that if a cart total reaches a specific amount you can actually get a 10% discount or a 20% discount like basically spend 500 rand or more and get a discount this is very good to actually make customers spend more money so they can get a discount okay as you've seen how successful it is for sheen so that's what volume boost does okay guys now we're going to add a custom domain for our online store so what you're gonna do to do that is you're gonna go to settings down here and then you're gonna go to domains now obviously you can connect an existing domain 
this is if you actually use a third party service to get your domain like GoDaddy as I mentioned it's not sponsored okay it's not but you can also buy a new domain on Shopify which is simpler but usually it's more expensive so we're gonna search for a domain and see if our domain is actually available global card so we do see that our domain is available at $22 per year so it's for a yearly price it's pretty cheap and you also realize that .co.za domains are more expensive than .com domains but there is no globalcard.com domain available so we'd have to choose globalcard.co.za obviously i won't buy this domain because this is just for the purpose of a tutorial but this would be a very good domain it looks trustworthy so customers would actually trust your website and that could increase the chances of you making sales now how do you add a payment gateway you still stay in the settings section and you go to payments and then here you can obviously activate paypal your customers can pay using paypal and you're gonna go all the way up to add a payment method in south africa ideally you can use paystack you can use peach payments and you can use payfast so as you can see here's peach payments right here if you search for it Peach Payments is actually like well integrated into Shopify, you don't have to manually add it. But if we look at um, Payfast on the other hand, uh, it's not there so you'd have to manually add it. And Paystack is already there so you don't have to manually add it. So we will say Paystack for now. Obviously you'd have to create a Paystack account and everything so, for, so all your money goes to the correct Paystack account and everything but you'll see that customers will be able to use Paystack as a payment gateway so they can use um, their bank cards to actually make purchases on your online store. So that's how you add a payment gateway. Now guys, as you've seen, we've added all the necessary things for our store so we can actually go ahead and preview the store. And as you can see, we get welcomed with a 50% first order off, shop the new Orbit Guard, and then let's say you click shop now and then it will take you to the product and then we can click to view it and you see we have a full product description as we specified earlier and some images of our product and you can see the discount that we applied which is like 50% um, and then now we can say buy now and as a customer this will be the buy now page where you enter your contact details and this is where your payment gateway will be once you actually successfully integrate it into your Shopify store. And that's basically it for creating a basic dropshipping Shopify store. Guys, now it's time for me to mention something really important, something really helpful. It's the tech stack from Hulk apps. You need the tech stack from Hulk apps because look at all these awesome apps. Hulk apps actually has that you can integrate onto your dropshipping store. This is good, especially if you're a beginner, because doing all these functions on your own is a lot of work. But however, with the tech stack from Hulk apps, you can just simplify your life. Look at all these features and look at all these apps. For example, the Hulk restock and back in stock app. This allows you to notify customers immediately via emails when their desired product is back in stock. You can also allow it to create and send customized restock SMS notifications. And probably my favorite one is the Hulk Apps Post Purchase Survey. So this allows you to create personalized survey forms for your customers after they have purchased products from your store. And you can view all the survey data on the apps dashboard for instant insights at any time. Now guys, you can get the link to the tech stack in my description. You might as well get it now because it's a lifesaver. It really is. There's a lot that you can add on to your dropshipping Shopify store, but this is a basic tutorial and I've covered all the basics you'll need to actually get it up and running.